well. I've gone with a little bit of a different hairdo today. I don't think I've ever done a video with my hair tied back. I almost always have it down. I've had it down all morning and it's just like in my face so bad. So I've just had to tie it back. So I hope you like. Um, yeah, today's video is going to be another unboxing haul. I've been filming quite a lot of hauls recently and I hope you don't mind because I really enjoy filming them and I think you guys really enjoy watching them so I'm just going to keep doing them as often as I can. Um, today's is a French Connection haul. They have some really amazing things online at the moment. Their autumn winter collection is incredible. Um, so I ordered some stuff which came yesterday and I've had it all boxed up. hadn't opened it until about an hour ago where I've just opened it all, filmed me trying everything on and now I'm going to sit down and talk through what was in the box, what I think of it um, and show you it on and just everything like that. So let's get started. The first thing that I tried on is this amazing jumper. This is so, so, so soft. I wish you guys could feel this because it's like just the snuggliest jumper ever. Um, it's in a colour that French Connection describes as oatmeal, I believe. Yeah, and that's kind of quite a good description, a bit grey, beigey. Um, it's got a few grey flecks running through it. Um, it's a v-neck oversized jumper. Really warm, really cosy, really flattering, everything like that. So that's good. This um, was £69 and I got a size small, which fits perfectly. It's slightly oversized, but any bigger size would have been kind of drowning. So... Yeah, I really love this, just definitely going to be like an everyday cosy jumper. The next item is something which I'd seen online a few weeks ago and tweeted about it because it's just so, so me and my kind of a thing. And it's these shoes, the snake print slip-on loafers. Now this is the fourth pair I have in this style, which I know is like a little bit excessive, but I wear them all the time. and um, I seem to always have blisters, like the back of my heels are an absolute mess. So things like this are the shoe that I wear when my feet are hurting so, so bad that I just can't bear to have anything on the back of my heel. They're all so, so comfy and, and I love the snakiness of these. So yeah, um, if you've been eyeing shoes like this up before but worried that if you've got thin feet you won't keep them on, you will be able to. I have really thin feet and I can keep shoes like this on no problem at all so don't let that put you off if you've been looking at this pair or a style like this before because there's quite a few of these kind of styles around at the moment. Yeah, so they're fine for thin, thin feet too. So the next thing is a pair of skinny jeans. Now I am super picky with jeans because I like them to be really, really skinny, come to the right length, and often to be skinny they have stretch in them, don't they? But I don't like it when they're almost legginy, if that makes sense. When they're too thin and too stretchy, I don't like it. I like them to have a denim-y feel. Um, and it's really hard to find budget skinny jeans like that. So I have a pair from Zara, um, which are really, really good, but they're falling apart, like the quality is not amazing of them. And so I've been looking for a replacement pair and these are the perfect ones. So I really like dark indigo wash denim. I think it's smarter than a light wash, but not quite as heavy as black. Sorry, I think I've just gone super bright, but the sunshine's just come out. So just ignore all of that changing going on. Um, anyway, so these are like a really nice heavy denim, as I was saying. Super skinny, they're the perfect length. They fit really nicely. They've got some stretch in them, but they don't look stretchy. They look like a thick denim basically, which is what I always want from skinny jeans. Um, I got size eight in these. They don't do their sizings like waist sizes, they do it normal sizes. I'm a size eight in trousers normally. I got size eight in these and they fit perfectly. So the next thing is possibly my favorite item that came out of the box. And it's this incredible navy blue coat. I have a little bit of a thing for long tailored coats and didn't think that I could find one that was different to what I already have because I have quite a few now but this is completely different and in the most subtle ways which just makes it the perfect basic piece that's still a little bit different and kind of a little bit exciting and um, so the first thing I liked about it is it's got I mean I don't know if chevron's the right word but it's got a really faint almost like a print running through it which you don't think you'd be able to tell from here but I've filled a close-up you can tell 
So I really like that, but by far my favourite thing about it is the split down the back. It's got, the bottom half of the back is split open and it's kind of got this belt at the back which comes to a button point. Um, so like your jumper, you can see your jumper through it and I think that's also really, really flattering over your bum. Um, the other thing it's great for, which um, I was messing around when I was trying it on and seeing all the different ways you could do the collar, it's got like a, it's almost like a funnel neck actually, if you do it all the way up, it sits up here. And then you can open it and wear it in so many different ways. So you can have it sat open with the lapels wide. You can have it open but with the lapels upright. You can have it buttoned up with the lapels down. Or you can button it all the way up to the top and have it like a funnel neck. So there's just so many different ways to wear it, which I think is really clever with a coat as well. Um, and makes it kind of the perfect investment piece too. So the next item is not something that I would typically say is very me, but it caught my eye online and I love it even more in real life than I did online. And it's this dress which has a long frill hem. And um, it's slightly asymmetric, so it's a tiny bit longer at the back. It's got, oh the sleeves is tucked in. Um, it's got kind of sleeves that come to like here, so it's short sleeve but not like a cap sleeve just with a round neck and it's got a nice pleat down the back too. Um, again, it's a really nice material, everything's a really nice material really. Um, quite heavy, so it sits quite structured, but it's still really nice and flowy. Um, for me, it's probably a little bit short because I'm not overly comfortable wearing super short things, so I think I'm probably gonna wear it over jeans. Um, I've tried it on over those indigo skinny jeans and it looked really good and also that makes it more appropriate for um, autumn and winter. But I would say that I don't think it actually is too short, if that makes sense. I think it's just how I feel in it. So if you wanted to wear it as a dress, because it, it is meant to be worn as a dress, then I don't think it would look ridiculously short. It's obviously just what I'm comfortable in. Um, and bear in mind also, I think I say this in like every single video, but I'm quite tall and I have quite long legs, so things always come up shorter on me anyway. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be wearing it over jeans. I, do, I did try it on without jeans, which um, I'll make sure I put a clip of it in. So you'll have to let me know if you think it looks like it's too short, but it's one of them things that if, I, if you feel uncomfortable in it, don't you, it shows. So I think for me it's going to be an over jeans one. So the next item is something that could also be worn as a dress or over jeans. Um, again, it is a dress, like that's what the French Connection class it has, but I think I'm going to wear it over jeans as well. And it is this black shirt dress. Shirt dresses are by far my favourite kind of dresses and the ones I feel most comfortable in um, and I actually don't think I have a black one. So this is like a really lightweight soft cotton so it's like a great transitional piece if it's still if we still have warm days which I think is maybe a bit over optimistic. I don't think we're going to have a warm day again this year or at least that's how it feels. So it's going to be great under jackets then if we don't get a warm day. Um, it's a little bit longer than the dress with the frill bottom, so I would happily wear it without any jeans underneath and feel comfortable in it. So the final item was the one item that I wasn't sure whether or not I was going to like when it came. Um, because again, it was kind of, it caught my eye immediately online and I was a bit like, I really like that, but do I actually like that? Do you ever, do you ever get that? Something catches your eye and you think, why, why am I keep looking at this? Because it's not typically something that I would go for. But now that it's arrived, I completely, completely love it. And I just know I'm going to end up wearing it all the time. And it is this short length um, jacket. The first thing I really, really love about it is the weight of the material. And it's like coat material. I think it might be wool. It definitely has some wool in it. 75% um, wool it is. So it's a really, it feels like a coat basically. But it's not the coat length or anything like that. Um, it's a colour which, what do they call this colour? Barley sugar. Um, it's kind of like a, a grey with a little bit of pink running through, creamy pinky grey. I don't know what colour to describe it as. Um, it's got four buttons which are like flat plastic buttons. Um, and it's quite nice how flat they are actually because they look really different when they hit the light differently. Um, and a belt around the waist. So the thing that I wasn't sure about online was the big fur collar, but actually I really, really like the fur collar. I think it's going to be great like when it gets really cold and when it's really wintry and if you, you know, you like go out somewhere like bonfiring and you've got fur collar on, I think it's going to be so nice with that. 
But, which I didn't realise, I don't know if it says online or not, but you can actually take the collar off. It has um, buttons, I don't think I can show you very easily, but it has buttons all the way around so you can unbutton it and take it off and it's um, even more amazing without the fur collar on and perfect to be wearing now without the collar on and just kind of makes it, I think I feel more in my comfort zone basically without the fur around it. Um, so that's another great thing though that you can take it on and off, it makes it just more versatile, stuff like that. So yeah, this is probably my second favourite thing that came out of the box after the navy blue coat. Okay, so that's everything that came out of the ginormous French Connection box. Um, I'm going to be doing loads of blog posts featuring all these clothes, so make sure you keep an eye out on the blog if you want to see any of them styled up or you know see photos of them in more detail or anything like that because I promise they will all be going online um, over the next week or so. Um, yeah, just a little disclaimer, this video is not sponsored by French Connection, but they did gift me these clothes. I've worked with them quite a few times on a gifting basis. Um, it never, ever, ever changes my opinion on things, and I never ask for something um, or accept something that I wouldn't have bought myself. So yeah, that's everything from me today. Um, thanks so much for watching again. As always, links in the description box for everything. Um, Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this, subscribe if you don't already, all the usual stuff, and I will see you again in next week's video.